We are looking today at changing in mixed numbers to improper fractions. The thing to remember is that both versions of the number are totally equal. We are finding an equal version, just a different way to write the number. So the best way to start is to draw a picture. I'm going to draw a picture to represent 3 and 1 fourth. So I know that I have three whole sections. Using boxes is usually the easiest way to split up fractions. Circles can sometimes get tricky depending on the fraction. And then I have another one that is worth one-fourth. Now, when we write our improper fraction, always keep the same denominator. So what I'm actually going to do is take my whole sections and split them up into fourths similar to my fraction. So here, all I need to do is count the total fourths that I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 fourths, and that is my improper fraction. If I want to count a little bit quicker, I know that each whole section has 4, so it's 4, 8, 12, 13. So for this next one here, 2 and 4 fifths, try to change it to an improper fraction. Use the strategy, get a piece of paper or a whiteboard, and draw a picture to represent 2 and 4 fifths. You should pause the video now and go ahead and do so. When you come back, it will be done for you so you can check. I am about to show you what's going to happen, so if you haven't paused it yet, do so now. Here we have my picture of 2 and 4 fifths. And then with my whole numbers, I'm going to again split it into fifths. Now all I need to do is count the total number of fifths that I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Again, a faster way of counting using my, really, my multiplication skills, 5, 10, or I know I have 5 in each, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14. Thinking about that counting strategy, can you look at these numbers and see a simple method for us to calculate the numerator? We're going to try that on the next one. So here we have another example, 4 and 2 thirds. Pause the video, draw this out, and get your improper fraction. Go ahead and pause now. Here we can see my picture to represent. And I'm going to use my faster counting strategies. I know that each hole has three. And I have four of them. So I can simply do four times three and get 12. And then count my two more for 14. 14 thirds would be my answer. Now if we think about what we just did, each whole section has three because there are th it's split into thirds. And we take four of them because we have the four. So when we look at our mixed number, I know that I can multiply my denominator with my whole number because I'm counting up all at once the whole sections that we have filled in. And that gives me 12. Then I have two more sections that I need to add on. We add on our numerator to finish it out. And if we look at the way we were counting, it gives us the same thing. So we can use this quick strategy to help. But remember, the pictures represents exactly what's going on. So if you forget the shortcut, use the pictures to help you. We need to remember the actual math that's going on, but we can always use shortcuts to help. Here we have another example, 5 and 1 fourth. I want you to try the shortcut 
and then I want you to check your answer with the pictures. You can go ahead and pause and when you come back I will show you the answer. If you are struggling with the shortcut, go back a little, rewind, rewatch the shortcut to see if it helps you. Otherwise, try with the picture and then we'll do the shortcut together. Go ahead and pause now. So, I know that I can take my denominator and multiply by the whole number to get 20. So this is similar in our picture where we have the five whole sections. I know that each section is full because it's the whole value and each section is split into fourths and because it's a whole value I have four in each so I'm doing my five times four to get my twenty fourths in there and then I have one extra fourth left over which means that I need to put that in so I add on my numerator to get 21, similar to there, 21 out of 4.